Hello, this is Brad. I wanted to show you a little web app that I wrote that works in conjunction with flightaware.com flight plans and the Garmin 530 or 430 in X-Plane. I like flightaware because it has actual flight plans by actual pilots and airlines. So this is going to be a flight from Las Vegas to San Francisco KLAS to KSFO and I pick flights that are close to when I'm going to fly. Here's one that's actually en route. So the resulting page does show the actual tracking of the aircraft in flight. But I'm especially interested in this panel over here that shows me the route on the bottom line. It gives me an abbreviated flight plan showing the SID and the STAR and probably a transition point here. But this really isn't all that useful, so I'll go ahead and decode it. When I decode it, I still see the abbreviated flight plan across here, but I'm interested in all of the waypoints. The trick is getting them from here into your FMS and X-Plane without having to use the interface that X-Plane provides, clicking buttons and so on, to get all of these in there. So that's why I wrote this little app. All I have to do is select everything from the beginning of the airport of origin all the way down to the end where it says destination airport. I hit command C. I guess that would be control C on a Windows machine. So now it's on my clipboard. I'll go over to this application that I wrote. It's at x-planetools.com and there is a link on the landing page to the actual application which you see here. There are some instructions on how to use it but I'm going to go ahead and demo it now. So I'll start by giving it a title that I'll recognize once I get in the airplane and I'm pulling it up to load for the Garmin. Of course this will work with the default FMS in an aircraft like the Challenger 300 or the Dash 8. You don't have to put the .FMS, the program will do it for you. So Command V. Uh, there is a double listing. The program will get rid of that for you, or you can do it yourself here. So I'll go ahead and convert that. And it gives me a link then to the actual file that has been created. So on my Mac, I right-click, and I go down to Download Linked File As. Every browser is going to be a little bit different. And I'm going to save this in my X-Plane application directory under Output, under FMS Plans. A word of caution, I have noticed that in Safari on my Mac, when downloading the .fms file, it will automatically tack on a .text extension, which makes it useless in X-Plane, so you might have to go to the actual file and remove that from the name. So now I'm all set to load that into my FMS or Garmin in X-Plane. So here we are in Las Vegas. This is a private flight. I've got my ground power hooked up so that I can have enough power to program my radios. By the way, this is the newly revised Saab 340A by X Aviation. This is version 1.3 which does include, among other things, a Garmin 530. So here we are in the airplane. Beautiful cockpit. Lots of things have been simulated. Just a quick overview of the cockpit and where they put the Garmin 530. We're going to use it in its pop-up form. Opening screen is the map. We're interested 
in the flight plan screen. This is an old flight plan, so if there's one in there, it will automatically be overwritten when you load your new flight plan. So click on the inner wheel knob here, select at least one, and then use the new manipulators to go to my flight plan. Click the enter button and you can see that it has begun to map it in here. And if I go over to the flight plan screen, everything is there. Now I can get rid of this if I want. I have to select it. That way when I take off, I'll be headed directly to my first waypoint. I'm going to go ahead and click direct and activate. And now you can see that it fills in the headings and the distances and the cumulative mileage. So now we're ready to start up the engines and take a flight.